Hello, hello, hello. Guys, can you hear me? Yes. We are making this for console. Well, we're back. We're making this for console right now. Because my console players are watching my videos and telling me like, Hey bro, why are you not supporting PC players? Why are you only supporting people on PC? And there are some stuff you're uploading only works on PC. So I'm just gonna respond for you guys with this video and try to help you on console. Alright guys. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Loki. We're back with another Epoch Legends video. And on this video, we're gonna talk about something very important right here. All the important things you want to know about console, guys. Alright? How to become very smooth on console, not only on PC. Yes, the videos are not, I'm dropping out of both for both console and PC, but some people did not agree with me on that. They want something specifically to work only on console. So let's try to get this work with you guys all right guys first of all of course now i am on pc as you see right here look at my mouse for example you, you can see i'm on pc this hacking is only on pc done <laughs> you can only do this on pc all right and people tell me like control is op and you can see how easy you can just move like this and shoot like that uh, on mouse anyway <laughs> Okay, we're gonna explain to you guys how to become smooth on console. Let's go straight without wasting your time, alright? First of all, we're gonna start with the step one and two and three. We're gonna go with the step one is the setup. The first thing you need to know and understand you have to make sure that you have a monitor. This is the first step. If you guys want to be smooth and you have a TV, I'm sorry for that. You will not be smooth on TV. This is like a, a, an end up situation. You can't just become smooth on PC be, uh, on uh, on a TV because basically a TV has 20 plus MS, uh, which means a high input lag. This is impossible. Whatever you do, guys, it's not gonna be possible to become that smooth on PC the same way as. Uh, PC players. I mean the on console the same way as PC players. You cannot be smooth on console the same way as PC players if you have a TV. So step one, set up, remove the TV, get a monitor. Alright? I don't care what monitor you have. The best thing you, to get is one MS monitor, but since you're console, just get a monitor, okay? Don't don't buy something uh, expensive or anything. Just get a monitor, okay? Of course, the most uh, lowest MS is better, but I'm telling you, if you cannot afford it, then just get any monitor. There's monitors around $60, $70, guys, and it's pretty cheap, alright? Second, make sure to have... Uh, it doesn't matter what FOV you have, okay? You can have 100 or 110 on, on console and you're gonna still smooth, be smooth. So we're not gonna talk about FOV. Uh, but if you play 110, it's pretty good. Some people play 100, I used to play 100 and I was very smooth. But I recommend to play 110, the maximum. On, uh, of course, on a monitor. Make sure you have game mode on, FPS mode on, on a monitor, on your monitor. This is the first thing. Now we finish with that. Okay, we, we have the setup. Uh, about the gaming chair, it doesn't matter if you have a gaming chair or not. It does. It really doesn't matter. Okay, it, it really don't. So just get a monitor and make sure you have FPS mode and you're ready to go. Now with the step two, guys, we're gonna talk about some stuff of the controller settings because some people really think it's impossible get the control system. we're gonna speak about controller settings at the first then we're gonna talk about the video settings of uh, the monitor now we're gonna talk about the control settings we, we're gonna jump straight to it i'm gonna give you quick settings that work on console that are pretty good we're gonna start with classic players if you want to become smooth on classic uh, we have seven zero as i show you guys right here seven zero right here uh, we have 500 350 200 this is the same way I, as I play but to, instead of 140 you can drop this to 125 like that and you can keep this 210 you don't need to play on low sense on console it's stupid uh, that's the sense for classic players I tried this before on console it works very well if you want to become smoother like very smooth as the title says then you have to make this right here 04 okay and then you can play uh, 530 it doesn't matter right here and here we have to drop it a little bit but like 160 like that and this is gonna be 140 okay if this you want to play linear this is for uh smooth linear if you want to become smooth classic like the smoothest on classic 
There is also a setting for classic to be close to linear that is very smooth and fast, which is right here. Six response curve right here. We'll go back to this 210. Imagine this 210, okay. And deal with her 135. So this is also the smoothest settings on console for classic. These are the things I tried. Okay, these are the things I tried. You can try them. And you can actually change a little bit here and there with them. You can copy the that's not response give out of threshold, then you can change here a little bit what you want, doesn't matter. But make sure to copy the the here the response curve uh, dead zone out of threshold. Here you can make this also here. Now make sure that on, on console you, you really don't need to play on dead zone high. The higher than four percent is gonna be a problem on 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 uh, console and also don't be don't play on a low output threshold like one it's gonna be very bad on console i don't know why my internet went away what the heck okay of course you can do you don't have apps on console you don't have this on console but you have settings on console where you just press on the monitor menu and you go to the settings on the monitor so once you press on the monitor you can have game modes which are gamer one gamer two gamer three fps mode uh, there are a lot of things we can try now if you put fps mode and you cannot adjust the vibrance and brightness and all this then i recommend you to not put the fps mode to try to put gamer mode but if you don't have gamer modes and you only have fps mode then you are forced to play on fps mode without gamer mode unfortunately and you cannot change anything this is a problem in your monitor but if you have both fps and gamer mode and you can adjust setting on one of them then choose the one that you can adjust the settings with so for example here i cannot change anything in the fps mode but when i press game mode i can put advanced i can change the same thing happen when you press on the monitor so when you press on, press on the monitor menu you there's a button in the monitor uh, where you press and you get the menu and you get all these game modes uh, there are game modes that you can actually change with them the vibrant saturation and all that so if you have that then you're good to go we're gonna go and change something there's a lot of things you will find for example you'll find overdrive okay if you're on console i recommend you to use a strong overdrive or weak okay but just use strong <laughs> it's better don't use this off make sure you use it strong or medium or weak or whatever just use use overdrive don't use it off use it okay you have to use it this is the first thing you need to do now the second thing you need to do is saturation you either have it called game color or you have it called a uh, saturation most people have called a uh, saturation on console turn this all the way up right turn this all the way up maximum all right so you have to turn this all the way up the, the color all the way up vibrance we're not gonna touch with this at all and also contrast we're not gonna touch with this at all if you have this on default which is 70 is 70 maybe on default or this is 60 make sure that both of them are on 50 50 50 right here okay so make sure these both are on 50. now with the color temperature now most people use worm okay on console i recommend to use cool or normal you either use normal or cool i used to use normal on console not cool or warm and sometimes i switch to cool but people recommend me warm i did not want this because on warm the screen is not going to be that smooth the same way as normal or cool this is my recommendation i don't care about other people opinions because most people share opinions or just copy and paste and they will give you false information i'm giving you what i feel the smoothest so this is one uh, gamma you can pick the one that gives you the brighter look for example uh, right here too it is give me brighter look so just mess with the gamma and find which one has brighter look okay uh to the brightest look and you will see that yes my game is smooth so you have two ways you either use the the darkest mode or brightest mode there's two ways now for me i recommend the brightest mode and there's the people that want more colorful look it's gonna be for darker mode but personally guys i recommend brighter mode okay that's it 
Once you find these settings on your monitor, once you press the money and go to the monitor and press them, then you will find them. And it's gonna be that. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Now, after we finish with this, guys, we finish with the saturation and all that, we're ready to go. There's nothing to mention other than that on console. If you want to play on console and get like the best uh, color in this, then this is the best thing. Now, there is also one thing I want to mention, by the way, is basically if you're on PS4, or I don't know if, the, if it exists on console like Xbox, but if you're on PS4, you can go to the settings, to the video settings, and there's a, something called as full mode, color, full mode, full range. You have to put that on full range. And then make sure the monitor is also on full range, not limited. That's it. There's nothing else to say, guys. So that's how you become, or how, that's how you become smoother with the settings and also the video settings and how the game will look on Apex Legends console.